Hey guys, um, here with another install. But what we got today is going to be two things. I got the oil crossover line for the heads. Going to be installing that and seeing if it changes the sound at all, if it idling and running, uh, make it a little quieter. And then I have. Blue spring kit. Um, I know it's more of a 6 0 thing. It's a little stiffer than stock, so hopefully, I can get a little more fuel pressure. And we can pair to the OEM one that's in it, and the new plunger and seals and different stuff like that. But I'll do a little before of it running here, just so we can get an idea of what it sounds like. I'm not sure what it sounds like on camera. You can go ahead and start it. So that gives us a little rough idea what it sounds like and then install those two, see what the oil crossover tube does and go from there. Alright so what I've done is I took off the intercooler piping I just pushed that one up out of the way because we need to get back to that bolt there and, that. and then there's one right back there. Got to get to them, pop those out, and pop on your new HPX line. And as easy as that with that. And then change the fuel pressure spring underneath this cap here. There we go, there's some more Underneath there. So just take off that nut there for the fuel line. Pop off the two Allen bolts and then change out the internals there. So I'll change those quick and I'll be right back. Alright, so I got the crossover tube in. See it down there. But anyways, just keeping everything off for a first test, make sure it's not leaking. Uh, you want to go ahead and start it? Idle's a little bit easier, didn't notice a really big difference, but I'm going to go ahead and change out this spring here quick and throw everything back together. So I finished everything, put everything back together, and it doesn't really sound a whole lot different. I don't know. Feels like it pulls a little harder. <laughs> But built 30 pounds, they're pretty easy. Usually it takes a little bit to get up there, but I don't know, I guess I'll see how I like it and how it performs and stuff and probably make another update in a little while. But other than that, pretty easy install and simple to do. Something you can do in your garage with by yourself, so I guess I'll probably make an update in a couple fuel tanks and see uh Bye.